This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by GoDaddy, My.Biz, Netflix, and Stifilis, the only STD with a positive side effect. Big penis. <laughs> Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I know this is Southern. Earlier. It's Southern California, and I have fruit. You put zombie, and you put eerie in the title, and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to Dig Nation, episode number 237. I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albrecht. 2010 is upon us. The that's year right. is nigh. That's right. As it were. I don't even know if I use that correctly. It's just so freaking funny. I think that's what the correct usage, yes. The year is nigh. Mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, New Year. Mm-hmm. Uh, new hat. goals. New hat for my friend Tim Ferriss. <laughs> new Excuse goals. Uh, new New Year's resolutions. New New Year's resolutions. Good. What, did you have any big... Uh, uh, Big, poignant New Year's resolutions kind of like, uh, that you can talk about? You know, uh, trying, nope. to, All trying right. to think. Just go back to your lunch. Yeah, I mean, I mean I've, got a, I've got a bunch. I've got a bunch. You yeah. are, I always make like a list of ten. What, what do you? I did. I didn't do ten, but I did a bunch. Give but, me your number one. Let's just talk about our number one. Oh, God. What is my number one? You, do, you have a list. Mine. No, you have a list. So go okay. ahead and say one. And I'm going to try to think of one that I can talk about. All right. So uh, my number one... Would have to be, oh gosh, it's hard to name a number one. I'm just gonna throw one out there that I, I thought was really cool. Okay. Okay, this one I thought was really cool. I was at the Maker's Fair this last year. Okay. And I saw somebody making, uh, they had like a little bonsai tree exhibit. Okay. And I walked in there and they had somebody had dwarfed like a freaking orange tree. Tree? And there were little baby oranges growing on this badass That's little bonsai cool, tree. That's cool, yeah. Thought it was pretty badass. Want to do some bonsaiing this year. Okay, bonsaiing. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Yep, yep. My granddad That's did. A very good like, one. He spent like the latter part of his life with bonsai doing trees? bonsai trees in the back in his backyard. His entire backyard was full of nothing but bonsai trees. No way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, That's so there. cool. And he lived pretty old too, didn't he? Ninety-nine years old. Ninety-nine. Maybe, maybe it was the bonsaiing. No, I'm just saying some of that stuff. It was very yeah, meditative. So, it's it's kind of like a, <clears throat> the opposite of the computer. You know what yes. I mean? Just like trimming yes. your bonsais, you know, not thinking about CSS, and <laughs> which I've been dealing with. Ah, like, uh, I love it. I hate CSS. Uh, I my my a couple one. I have a couple ones that are sort of lame because people know it already. One is complete my pilot's license training. Right, right, right. right. To get it, which is good, and then two, uh, actually get married. Oh, that's coming this year, huh? Possibly. I mean, it's just it's just a New Year's resolution. I don't know if it's gonna happen. Uh, I'm very excited. Brought my girlfriend. Right? Yes, from the states. People don't or believe she exists. I Have say... her stand up and wave at least. Wait. All right. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. There you go. So that is my girlfriend, or should I say, fiance? Congratulations. I had no idea. But I was putting down my, uh, we were doing our list. Uh, Heather and I were doing our lists of like, what do we want to accomplish in 2010? Like, well, we're kind of engaged. We married. No, no, no. I brought it up because we did my full list and we were on hers and I go, you know, we should probably put get married on our list. And she was like, oh, yeah. Are you going to do a city hall? Interesting. Yes, yeah, freaking. Invite all. Neither. Dude. Neither. Dignation marriage. I know, I know you've been saying that. I don't know if Heather's all that jazzed about it. <clears throat> just saying. Uh, yeah, no, we're probably just gonna do like, I don't, I mean, that's the problem is we haven't even thought about it. I don't really wanna think about it because it's, I mean, talk about stress, a bonsai tree. You gotta make sure everybody's happy except yourself. I mean, Dude, I don't know. hope then if, if you guys are that stressed about it, no, 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 but jump in a plane and well, go to the Well, but see, that's the Madagascar. thing is we're not, we don't, I don't know, it's weird. Like, we don't have any feeling of pressure to need to get married tomorrow. So then eloping, it doesn't solve anything for us. It's like we don't, you know what I mean? Tax benefits. How is, oh, that's right, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Although I've got a corporation, so it's a little bit different. Kids? You Kids need, don't have corporations. married to have that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Just kidding. At some point, maybe. Oh, you're like kind of reversing. Before you were like, no kids. Now you're thinking oh, about Oh, was it. I like totally no kids? Who's no kids here? Somebody here is no kids. Kids? Sure. Prayer? Yeah, Glenn? Glenn's no Glenn's kids. Glenn's no, no kids. I'm not no kids. Okay. All right, all right. Well, I was, I'm not no like kids. I'm just years. not 
First couple of years is a bitch. Yeah. Let's just be honest. Yeah, dude. Everybody, That's what boarding friends... school, kindergarten boarding school. <laughs> exactly. Pre, pre kindergarten. Pre kindergarten board. boarding school. school. Dude, seriously, all my friends. Plus, they'll be kids. bilingual. They'll come back as like they, they'll be I'm like I'm actually doing that. They're gonna come back as Prager. Dude, Prager. I'm gonna totally teach my kids some sort of fancy dude, language dude, when they're young. Prager's nanny taught him growing up. Raised him actually. Yeah. And and now he can speak yeah. Spanish very well. And he makes a mean fajita. Dude, when we go when we go to Mexican food, I'm always like, pair, pair. Do your just, thing. Just, just, you just speak talk. to them. Talk to them. Talk to them. Talk to them in their and native he's like, tongue. No, no. And then he's like, Grrr. and then he's like, yeah, extra hot sauce and shit. It's fucking amazing. What? Oh, he's yeah. You're tell, going tell to a conference and giving a speech in Spanish? Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Are you gonna have a beer? Muy bueno. Have a beer? <laughs> Dude, give us a little sample. Tell us some shit in Spanish. Yeah. Voy a hablar un poco de las computadoras. He just said something about computers. I know, I heard computers. Un poco de las computadoras. Un poco de las computadoras. Un poco, y vamos a usar la internet. No, none of it is anything. Negocios. Muchos negocios. Negocios. Business. All right. Interesting. Here we go. (laughs) (laughs) It got kind of squirrely there in the middle. Anyway, so those are sort of the... I know, I know. I was like, yeah, F you too, Francois. (laughs) Anyway, so those are some of my uh, cool. New Year's resolutions, if they were be considered that. Shall we get into the show? Yes. Cave along. Oh, all mine are posted at KevinRose.com if you want to see the rest of mine. It's true. All it's right. True. First story of the day. Here we go. The Nexus One, reviewed by Engadget. 983 people dug this story, submitted by Mr. Wizard. He's alive. <laughs> the Nexus One, in the modern Horrible. climate of hyped and overhyped smartphone launches, Google's official entry into the phone sales game has excelled in a department where many find difficult. Generating legitimate excitement. Well, so th- I feel like this is a little bit like bad timing. After the pre, mm-hmm. and then the droid, mm-hmm. it's kind of a little bit like, oh, another company is throwing their hat into the smartphone, try to beat the iPhone business. Okay. Well, I, I mean, that's okay. I will say. But I'm definitely not as excited as I was when the Palm Pre was announced. Right. Because well, that was sort of the first like. Yeah, but the thing about this is that Apple's not just saying, here's a phone, or I'm sorry, Apple. Google's not just saying, here's a phone right. that has our OS on it. It said, here's a phone that has our OS, and by the way, here's the new version of the OS. So oh, they okay. also showed off at the same time, Android 2.1, or Flan, <laughs> is, is, the, is their code name. Jesus. And so this was basically the first yeah, time we saw this OS. it's silky smooth like Flan. Well, well, listen, listen. <laughs> Remember two episodes ago, or one episode ago, two maybe, we were talking um, about Flan. We, we were talking about Android, and yeah. my biggest complaint was the fact that it was just not Jittery. there from a UI standpoint. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. like a little bit, but like a little skippy, little not as, as candy yep. like oh, as, yeah. as, yeah, as yeah. Apple. And dude, I watched the video on this. You watched the video on this. Yeah, they've definitely Gotta upgraded. Say, the, they've the, upgraded the it. sort of joy factor. Right. Because there is that intangible factor. It's not just speed. It's not just you know megapixels of camera. It's not just how many apps are on the App Store. It's a little bit of what kind of tactile joy do you get right. from using the phone? In, in a lot of that, I believe... And, and I'm getting a little bored with the app, with the iPhone's I am interface. Too. I am it's just, too. I want like, something new. Right, exactly. It's not new anymore. Right. And the other thing, too, is I think that... Uh, th- that's why when I saw like the living wallpapers on the Android, yeah. like, I thought that was cool. It was like wallpapers moving in the background as your yeah. apps are sitting on top. I was like, oh, shit, that's different. Well, yeah, come on. So what? No, no, yes. nobody uses these phones for battery life. <laughs> right. So uh, there's some really great black and white single line, you know, numbers and analog text phones that work very well for right, 72 exactly. hours. Yeah, there's like there's, there's phones now that you can like go two weeks on yeah, and do nothing course. but dial. Yeah. So um, here's Bill Shrink actually did a little matrix. Okay, I'm excited because I have not looked at this chart. Right. So this is a matrix of all the different current smartphones that are out there. The Nexus One, the Droid, the Palm Pre, and the iPhone 3GS. So let's just go through the com- and compare it to the iPhone 3GS because that's the phone that we have okay. now. Right. Just to, just so that it's not so too. So 3GS, 16 gigabytes of storage. <clears throat> okay. The only other phone that offers 16 gigabytes is the Droid. Okay. The Nexus One, and this is sad. Well, four but, gigabytes. But here's the thing, without put, I don't use my phone for me as an iPod. I don't. Okay. I probably have about maybe 500 megabytes of the space on my phone. Filled up, because hmm. what else is what? What else am I putting on there? Video. I think most people are not like you. I think most people put all their music on their iPhone. Well, but Would if you guys but agree then, with that? As but other then, iPhone users, music on your iPhone? Not much. Not Glenn. Not Glenn. Interesting. I Prager do because when I'm going to the... to the gym, I just basically have my phone with me and I can freaking run around. Prager, do you have? Do Who's you have... here? Oh, my clean crew is here. Oh, good. Do you have? Uh, oh, I was coming to see me. Do you have uh, uh, music on your iPhone? Yeah. Do you use it as an iPod? Mm-hmm. 
So, so that's that. But, but that goes to show you that's going to be hard as hell to compete with, no matter how much gigabytes you have on your phone, because nobody is going to use your the Nexus One to connect as their iPod. Right. Right. So it's almost like you can't even compare. So I'm not too well, concerned with the four gig. Well, with how they're not going to connect it to iTunes and sync it. And yeah, they can for sure. What? Because all the, the music all the... that they buy on iTunes. You yeah. Can... If you sync a Nexus One with your iTunes account or with, or with iTunes, it will bring all your music over like it does with the iPhone? I doubt that. No, no, I, it will because here's here's the deal. It, really? It won't, it won't use iTunes to do it, but when you buy iTunes music, well, it, yeah, it just goes DRM into a folder now, yeah, and it's yeah, yeah. DRM free, so they'll just bring all that folder over, right? I mean, okay, but it's not, I'm it. just going to say it's not, it's not, but whatever. So right. what else we got? Battery life. So well, let's talk battery life iPhone has 300 hours of standby. Mm -hmm. Android, or, I'm sorry, Nexus One, 250 hours. That's enough but hours for me. Talk time, seven hours on the Nexus One, five hours on the, the iPhone 3GS. Interesting. I'd rather have more talk time than standby time because... I would too. At the end of the day, I plug my phone in every night anyway, right. so it's like, what's that? Exactly. You don't need more than even 48 hours, Ooh, right? Camera. Uh, camera, five megapixel versus three. I mean, all this five is Five megapixel really on the new... On the new, on the new Nexus, Nexus one. one, yeah. So one of the things, uh, everything else is pretty much about the same, GPS. except for the number of apps available in the App Store, blah, blah, blah. Voice commands. iPhone has voice commands? Yeah, you didn't know that? This little waveform. Oh yeah, I guess so. I just haven't really. So here's here's the, the thing. I think what it comes down to is that we all know the 3GS has been out for a year plus now. Correct. Yeah. Apple is bound to launch something new. They're thinking. I've heard like the little rumor blogs and stuff say around the July time frame, somewhere around there. Yeah, Some I mean the summer. Yeah. Coming out with the new yeah. iPhone. Oh, new iPhone. Yeah. <clears throat> that so, would be. I mean, that's that's a different. And you know they're just gonna take it to the next level, dude. If they do, then oh, if come we on, get another it's well, Apple. No, but hey, the last two upgrades to the iPhone really haven't been all that big. Sure. But but th that's because I think they. That's because there weren't really any. And there weren't really any uh, challenges. Right. You know exactly. I mean? And now it's like. Okay. iPhone's biggest enemy is gonna be their App Store. iPhone enemy? enemy? It's gonna be. Why? Because it's closed what? and developers hate having to deal with it. Developers oh, uh, hate developing for the iPhone. I disagree with that. As somebody, who, as somebody who they actually the develops for it. They have to deal with giving them revenue split on the thing. Android is marketplace is going to is going to have more apps than the iPhone marketplace very soon. No, and, oh, I yeah. disagree. Because no they're already up to twenty five thousand. Apple's at ninety something. They're at twenty thousand. Apple's at ninety three thousand. It's going to it's going to start equalizing. Yeah, I think. I don't think. Maybe. I disagree because I think that I I think that actually the best developers they want to go where the most handsets are right. Yeah. Because they want to make the most money. Of course. The iPhone has sold freaking 10, 20, 30 x times what any Android phone is out there. And yes, that's slowly starting to catch up. And well, I don't know. Maybe it won't. Maybe with the new you iPhone know what? coming this, out, it this will be interesting because I actually just this uh, over the holidays launched an iPhone app called Dual, right. which is available now. Check your local listings for times. That's a TV show reference. Right. Uh, but a lot of people have been calling about where's the Android version of this app. Yeah, but those are just the people that just are like I know there's like ten three people of them. I know. <laughs> I know. But still. I, yeah, I actually think that's the that the pro the problem is actually the opposite of what Prager said. I think the problem for phone people is going to be having all your friends playing crazy ass fun little games at the bar, and you going, "Does anybody want to play tic tac toe on the Android? Does anybody <laughs> exactly. have a Droid phone? Want to play uh, play some tic tac toe? Shoot well, arrows at each other from across the bar? <laughs> totally. Anybody in here have a Droid phone? So th that's that's the whole thing. <laughs> well, honestly, I believe there's. I, I actually I'm reversing my decision a little bit. I agree with Prager a little bit more. There's going to be two players in this market. It's going to be Android and Google and all the, the phones that are built on top of that. Yeah. And and the freaking iPhone. Yeah. I think BlackBerry will stay kind of a little niche business thing for a while and then kind of fade off. Well, niche uh, business thing, it like owns the business market. Yeah, man. but that's that's shrinking, dude. Dude, but people in the I business know, people, I know, you know, I've got I friends know. that are business people and they're like, they're I love like, my iPhone. No way. I love my iPhone, but at the end of the day, I have a BlackBerry for business emails because I, I can fire those bitches off. I can look at attachments. I can edit attachments. I can send. You. I mean, there's just so much more shit you can do, and it ain't pretty. But the shit works. Yeah, I know. It's I mean, like, that is They're it. like little tanks. You yeah, know? it's they're like, like this, it like ain't pretty bad. Battle tested tanks. Yeah, I mean, anyway. believe me, my dad trying to use the keyboard on the iPhone is like, the, no. But he he had a BlackBerry and used it all the time for work and would send documents and emails right. and all that shit. I mean, it's just a different. I don't think it's, it's going to break. It's a different use in. case a little bit. Yeah, I, iPhone will never take over for BlackBerry in the business sense, in my you opinion. You don't think so? No way, man. A, a CEO of a company pulling out a, an iPhone and trying to. I don't to know. I know edit. many. First I know off, you a lot can't of CEOs edit. that are only they're only iPhone. Yeah, now. but you know, fucking web CEOs right, that true. don't do anything but design shit. Yeah, you're talking about like old. School. I mean, like the fucking head of Ford is not going to be using right. an iPhone. He's going to be fucking using the BlackBerry and doing some shit. Yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. I'm just saying. 
I could be wrong. No, but anyway, I don't think you're wrong. So we'll see. I mean, at the end of the day, we just got to get your hands on it and play around and see what you think. I, I hate to say, I hate to say this, but I think Palm, <laughs> after looking at what's happening with Android and what's looking with their kind of, because they have even less apps. They have a thousand apps in their app store. Well, Palm I think fucked Palm, up. I think Palm fucked up big time by aligning themselves with Sprint. Well, that contract is almost over. Yeah, but they're almost you, you shot yourself in the foot. Right. Well, that's almost over. Because the phases at which I would have bought a Palm Pre they're now over has with. passed. Right. Well, the other thing, the other <laughs> thing I've too, seen it enough to be like, hey, it's okay, but I'll stick I, with my if, iPhone. If I was the CEO of Palm right now, I'd, I'd pull in all the freaking VVs and be like, okay, shit. All right, what here's what we, we got to do. We're going Android. I'm sorry. We're going Android. <laughs> you know, we got to get to our idea, OS. We're going Android. We, we make a <coughs> cool hardware. phone. We're going to be hardware manufacturer. Let's be a manufacturer. hardware manufacturer. Let's, let's compete with HTC because HTC is making some killer phones. Yeah. I will say that. <clears throat> I haven't played with the uh, the, the old uh, freaking Plus, Nexus the other, one yet, but well, the other well, HTC phones I know. They're great phones. Awesome. I've always loved HTC phones because they were always the competitor smartphones-wise for the Windows mobile phones. Mm -hmm. Um, but one of the things that you got to realize also is a world would be great if we didn't get to this thing where Palm used to be where it would come out. They'd be like the Palm 300 would be only AT and T, but then the 350 would come out and it was only Sprint. Right. And then the 400 would come out and then it was only AT and T. But it would be cool to get back to that situation where like the new Palm came out and it was on different carriers. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just stuck to this one thing. You know what I mean? Okay. So now let's let's sum this up the story up in one in one little question for you and for me. Okay. You've seen the reviews of the Nexus One now. Correct. You know that it's T-Mobile right now. Correct. It is coming out on Verizon. Correct. AT&T and T-Mobile. It is coming out on Verizon. Correct. Are you going to buy one of these phones? No. They won't, won't replace your iPhone. No, no way. I might get one when it comes out on Verizon, just to see what it's all about. Oh, I mean, I'd play with one, but I wouldn't go out and buy one. Right. You, you, would, you would. It's not enough to make you do the jump. No, God, no. Definitely not. Are you kidding me? Like, how much? I mean... I'm not kidding you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, let's move on, shall right, we? let's do it. All right, little movie you may or may not have heard of. James Cameron calls anti-smoking avatar backlash bullshit. Thank you very much. 845 people dug the story submitted by S squared 22. Uh, Stanton A. Glance of Smoke Free Movies Initiative okay, announced he'd soon be mounting an informational campaign, which means just being annoying, to counter what he perceives as the film's pro-smoking message. What does James Cameron think of this? He's very nice and patently calls bullshit. So here's the thing. You saw Avatar, right? I did, several yeah. times, twice. What'd you think? Loved it. Yeah, wanted, wanted fun, to make, right? Wanted to make out with the girl at the end. Yes. I'm not gonna lie to you, no. she's pretty hot. I know she's blue. Yeah, there's some blue she's nipple big. in that movie too. It's pretty and nice. I would throw down and lock tails with her any day. Yeah, yeah. Although speaking of nipple, look at Sigourney Weaver in that oh, like rain soaked shirt. What up, oh, Sigourney Weaver? I'm not a fan, dude. Well, but I'm a fan of boobs coming through a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so here's the thing. Jane, uh, the, the character that Sigourney Weaver plays is an ecobiologist, mm -hmm. right? I kind of made that word up, so I'm hoping that's what she was. <laughs> Let's say she's an ecobiologist. Right. <laughs> well, she smokes, and she drinks, and she curses, and she's kind of rude, and she's not a very likable character. That's what makes her a great character. And that's what James Cameron said at the beginning of the, of the beginning. He was like, look, I want people to not like her because she is rude. She doesn't like our main character. Our main character doesn't like her. Like, she smokes, she drinks, she curses. She's not a nice person. This has nothing to do with, she's not a role model, because what the people were saying was, you're making the role model in this movie a smoker. And I guess there's like, I don't know, I, I, I kind of feel like it's a little much to, look, I'm, I don't like smoking. I'm not a big fan of smoking. Obviously, smoking is very, very bad for you. But I don't think that we should shut our eyes to the fact that people do smoke in this world, and that people who smoke in this world, they're not assholes and shouldn't be, rubber, you know what I mean? Like. If somebody sm goes outside and smokes a cigarette, I'm not going, that guy's a fucking asshole. I'm just going, okay, he, that's bad. You shouldn't do that because it causes cancer and it's really bad, blah, blah, blah. But I have nothing against it. So to say that no movie can ever have a character that has a, sm a cigarette in the movie is just not realistic. Yeah. That's like saying, well, you're shooting a movie about the, the 50s, but and everybody smoked in the 50s, but you can't show cigarette smoking. Yeah, it's like, I what? The thing is, really, and this is a... a and I hate smoking. I, I, I am very I know, against smoking. I know a, a lot of people will take this the wrong way, but honestly, we all know it's bad at this point. Yeah. If you're smoking, you know what you're doing to yourself, yeah. and you know that it's going to cause cancer, and you know you'll probably die young. Natural selection. 
Yeah. I'm sorry. You, you're, yeah. you're choosing to do it. You know what's happening. Yeah. If you see a movie character doing it, you're like, oh, that person has chosen that wrong path. Right. It's not like I'm going to watch a movie and be like, oh my gosh, they smoke. Damn it. Maybe I should pick this up. And I know they say little kids will, but we need to be, edu- as a parent, yeah. you better damn well believe I'm going to be sitting down with my son or daughter and saying, listen, this is the deal with smoking. You see people doing it out there. It will kill you. I care about you. I don't want you exactly. doing it. And if I ever catch you doing it, you're fucking ass is grass yeah, and I'm a lawnmower. I, I will kill you. Right, exactly. But here's the other thing. You That's can what my take dad this, said to me. Yeah, yeah, and you, you can take this to my dad extreme. smoked. So well, dude, like, yeah, my, my, my parents never really smoked smoked, but my dad, like, smoked a pipe at one point. My dad smoked a pipe, dude. Yeah, it fuck was, yeah, okay. dude. Pipe and I'm pimp. Sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. Pipe and pimp, man. Pipe and pimp. <laughs> you're sitting there with a pipe. <laughs> yeah. And you're just like, back of a party, watch, everybody's going, who's the guy with the pipe? You watch Sherlock Holmes? No, I haven't yet. Oh, dude, I watched it, and when he was, like, sitting there, and like, bite the pipe, you're just like, oh, damn, I kind of, like... It looks cool. Although I think that it's might be, bad. I think we're, I think, I know, I was just about to say, I think we're proving their point, but. No, I'm just saying, it's, <laughs> <laughs> we all went home and started smoking pipes. <laughs> <laughs> we were uh, like, to be we know it's stupid, and you're going to die doing it. But I got a hey, I kind of want to smoke it. Dude, no, it I'm looks like saying, a badass. I wish it wasn't cancerous, dude. <laughs> I know. It would be so pimped to be there with like a pipe. I know. Like, it's just, here's the thing, and this is, this is kind of how I feel. So Avatar is the fucking big man on campus. How do you get press for your little thing? You go after Avatar. I mean, would this be in the freaking? there would not be an article about this if it was, you know, some movie that nobody ever heard of or, or wasn't gonna see it. So I understand why they have to go after major movies because now, guess what? We're a web show that doesn't really talk about this shit and we're talking about this right. shit. So clearly it makes sense that if this is your campaign, and, and it's not to say that this guy's misguided or that this guy shouldn't be doing this. I think it's a great thing to hold a mirror up to, to creative endeavors and, and hold people accountable for what they're putting in their, their movies and, and television shows. And I applaud that. I just think in this situation, I, you know, I mean, one of the sites gave them their Black Lung Award. One character in your movie smokes, and you're going to give it a Black Lung Award. It seems a little well, bit like it's just going out there I to just, grab, uh, grab headlines. And, and I, that's when I get a little bit like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. I'm the same way. And I, and I just feel as though, like, why don't they attack? Like, when I watch somebody shooting up with a heroin in a movie, I'm not going to sit there and be like, you know what? I might want to do heroin. Or if yeah. I see somebody being an alcoholic, I'm not going to be like, I want to be an alcoholic. I want to be an alcoholic. Like, you know, this shit is bad for you. Like, yeah. you know, or hopefully you, you're, you know, ugh. Anyway. I'm sure Mad Men started up a lot. Yeah, what about Mad Men? Yeah, I know. Well, I'm sure the Mad Men's on their Black Lung Ward or whatever, because that's like everybody. But that's, it's honestly recreating the time of the, whatever. I asked Next my dad, story. by the way, after, because my, my dad watches Mad Men, I'm like, was it like that? And he's like, oh. Everybody yeah. smoked. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. everybody. Like you'd walk into a place and everyone would be like, like every person. Well, in the place. there was no smoking sections on planes. In a contained oxygen environment, you were just a little bit in front of the people smoking. That's not non-smoking. That's right. that's near smoking. Right. You know what I mean? Like, come it's on. Crazy. <clears throat> but anyway. All right. <clears throat> All right. Next story. Beep, 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 doo, 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 doo. Next beep. story of the day is. Apple's expected to ship 10 million tablet PCs a year. 540 people dug this story submitted by Sir Popper. Apple Inc. expects to ship 10 million tablet computers in the device first year of release. Former Google Inc. executive Lee Kafu wrote on his blog, citing a friend familiar with the project from whom he didn't name. The Apple tablet will be released by Apple Chief Executive Officer Steve Jobs next month and will be sold for less than $1,000. <clears throat> so interesting. We all know it's coming out. The announcement's going to be later this month, the twenty seventh, yeah. I think. Or and I, I did a little poll on my website just to kind of see how many yes, fanboys. Yes, it was there. a very good poll actually. It, it caused a lot of conversation amongst the TRS crew. I wanted to see uh, how many fanboys there were out there actually. A lot. And uh, the poll was if you could pre-order an Apple, uh, Apple's new tablet today without knowing anything without about it, without seeing it, would you do it? Oh. I'm surprised at how many people said no. Oh, only, no, actually 50, 60, 70, 80, 87% said they want to see, oh, no, I'm sorry. So 35%, 35% said, said yes. yes, I trust Jobs and know it will be cool. <clears throat> right. So 35% of people out there just said, I'll like, buy it right now. I'll just buy it right now. I I'm surprised, I have to say, from the stuff that I had heard, and obviously rumors are always rumors, even if they come from people inside Apple, uh, 
I'm surprised that it, they're even kicking around the thousand dollar mark. That seems way expensive. Yeah, because you me. were predicting that it was going to be much, much less. Much, much less. Yeah. I don't know how they could physically do that. Well. Subsidies from a uh, carrier? Yeah, I mean, look at the thing on my lap. Well, yeah, but that's AT&T over 3G. So you think it's going to have wireless built in? If it's AT&T's 3G wireless, I'm going to be pissed, dude. That oh, because you're not going to buy it? It sucks. Yeah, but you would, that would make you not buy it? Probably, dude. It, I mean, do you know how... Well, no, I'd buy it, of course. Yeah, right. What are we talking about? <laughs> Come on. Everybody would buy it. That's the whole point. The whole point is Apple can go to anybody and go, hey, do you want to make a bazillion dollars? Because if so... So you, Put this you're on saying thing. the device is going to be subsidized by the purchase of a wireless when I contract? I will just say, when I found out at what the just rumored what the price, price was going to be, what is well, the price it, wasn't, it wasn't a, an actual number number. Uh, it was lower than that. 299 Something around that, around that ballpark. I went, okay, well, I'm not an idiot, so clearly it's not going to cost that. It's going to cost, more than it's that gonna to cost a shit ton more than that to build it. So I assumed, considering mm. I've had things that have been subsidized before that are not cell phones, I was like, huh, interesting. Maybe it'll have a, a, an always-on 3G wire, you know, data connection plan, which would be awesome. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so that was just how I kind of got onto that, that whole thing. So that wasn't a rumor. That's just you trying to like, figure it out. No, that was me kind of uh, working yeah. backwards and going, well, <laughs> clearly it can't cost that much because that's, you know, their, their iPhone costs more than that without out of sight of contract. Right. But at 1000 bucks, now I don't know if I would buy it. Because I don't yet know what it is that it's going to do that'll be worth $1,000. If it's $1,000, it's not going to be a netbook. It won't replace this because I'm not going to type keyboard so type on glass fucking what, screen. What size screen is that? I have no idea. What size screen is this? Do you remember? 12? 12.1? 12. 12. Because they're rumoring it's going to be a 10-inch screen. So basically it's going to be like that. a little bit smaller than this screen. So it'll be yeah. something like that. Yeah, right, right. Dude, right. that would be sweet if I get, well, it's, it's But see, what are you going to do? Well, newspapers sorry. and shit. Well, but here's the thing. Here's the thing, and this gets to the core of it. It is not <laughs> going to be. the core of me, Well, Baxter. no, because so many people are like, ooh, Kindle should be scared. The, the reason Kindle why Kindle, no, no, no. The reason why Kindle kicks the shit out of reading a book on your laptop is because your laptop is an active screen and the Kindle is passive e-paper. The whole point is reading a book is less strain, strain on your eyes than reading a book online on, on a website. So here's the thing. If it doesn't have passive e-paper, it doesn't <laughs> solve just, the problem that Kindle is fixing, I just laugh which is my eye that. strain. If it doesn't have passive e-paper, I don't want it. Well, I have to have e-paper. I'm just saying. No, no. I'll, I'm probably still going to get it once I figure out what the fuck it does. But I'm just saying Kindle shouldn't work. I won't replace I, my Kindle because my eyes will strain no, after an hour of reading. I, okay. that is, I never read scripts. If I have, somebody, somebody, <laughs> somebody sends, sends me a script and I read a script and I read it on a laptop in my bed, after dude, like 20 pages, spend, I'm done. Dude, but I don't but think then I'll print it out and I'll read true, it. Though. It is true. You spend how many times per day, how many hours per day do you spend on your computer reading shit? I do it all the time. I'm reading emails. And I'm not, and every at the end of the day, I'm like just like, oh shit, man. I just Indeed. read for like five hours. I definitely if, do. If you're going to spend an hour get at night on your on your thing, and it's, it's just a, like a nice backlit on OLED, so it's not quite straight for me, nice. uh, and you're reading it, you'll be stoked. You'll be like, I'm not hurting. Uh, I don't think it's going to replace my Kindle. But I, it will do some other things that I'm excited about. You know what I mean? Like I'm excited to see how it will interface with a computer. A, a good example was I started playing EVE online. Which is like uh, this. Oh, you're on Eve now. Which is like Eve's this space so thing. Old, though. Dude, but it is freaking fun, gorgeous, oh, and addictive. Geez, Although Star Trek Online, no, Star Trek Online is coming out in like a month, and that I'll leave Eve for that. But I was thinking, you know, it would be freaking epic to use the pad, to use this eye slate thing, or whatever the fuck they're going to call it, as the controller for Eve, where the, I see screen, like information that I see on my HUD is on this thing, and so I'm playing, I'm watching on the screen, and then I'm looking down and selecting the different things that I want to fire off. It's basically what that Russian keyboard back in the day, right, 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 the OLED keys that we're going to change. It could do that for certain interfaces on the computer, so depending upon how it in interacts with the a second the thing. screen extension to anything, any device that is connected. Well, it would allow the programmers of Eve to go. You know what? We're, we support the eye slate. So you have your isolate synced, you know, Bluetooth or whatever to your computer. We will then show screen information right. on it. We'll show heads-up display on it. You know what I mean? I get you. Or think about interfacing with Photoshop 
with, uh, with just your hands. Or maybe even there is a pen that comes with it and you can use it as if it's a w Wacom tablet. See, I'm more excited about the book aspect of it. No way, dude. No, this, well, let me just throw out a couple features without you saying anything. Because also, without, I will, hold on. let me say one wait, other wait, thing. Wait. I also don't use my Kindle as much as I want to use my Kindle, right. so it would definitely not so need replacing. Let me throw out like two or three features for you. Okay. And then you tell me at the end of the day Spit if you think ball. these are cool. Spitball, Okay. Go. Let's say you're sitting there, you get your new tablet. Okay. You load up a book. Uh, and wait, like, wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm opening the tablet. Okay, you're opening it up. You launch the book. It's a fast the processor, book. so it's already launched. Yeah. You're in the book. You're, okay? okay. And you see a little icon next to a chapter of where I am. Okay? Okay. And you're like, shit, okay, Kevin's on chapter five. I'm just getting started. Oh. You're, on, you're starting to read chapter one. You're about five pages in, and you see another little icon next to a paragraph of text. And you click on it, and up comes a little screen, and it's like me leaving either an audio, video, or text annotation on that paragraph. I'm like, oh, this is crazy because you know what made me think about this, this, and this, this. It's like a little 15, 20 second. You're like, oh shit, that was pretty cool. Then you're scrolling to the next page and you see something that's talking about the Afghan war. And it's like, like to know more? And you hit it and it pulls up a video right there that's streaming from the internet. Mm. Pulling from Wikipedia or something like that. Yeah. And you're like, shit, I just got a little extra context <clears throat> out of, off of the internet based on this book. And then you're like, you know what? I want to loan this book to my friend or share this paragraph of text with a friend. Drag to your little friend icon, sent, and then bam, a little bit more social way to interact and read books. And you're still going like, like you right. yeah, you're still, still doing, doing that. Yeah, that's the cool part. <laughs> it's all touch. <laughs> and you do that, and the camera sees you and goes, oh, close it. <laughs> I tell you, you're, you're like, like I know, I'm done reading. Hi. And it's like, yeah. but that requires it's like, good night. No, 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 none of this shit is exciting Just to me. Just the rich people. What's none that? of that stuff was exciting to me. What? None of it was exciting. Did I go too high on the levels there? No, it was good. <laughs> was speaking, but that Are just you goes to shit. Kidding me? How cool is that? Come on! If, if I'm reading, if I'm reading book, Harry Potter and I'm, you're like ahead of me in chapter, I'm like shit. I'm gonna catch up to him and read through that tonight. You want to leave a little I'm a voice slow note reader. for somebody? Would, everybody would be ahead of me. Dude, come on! How fun would that be though to see where your friends are at, what you're reading? Oh, have dude. a social. It's like a book club. But here's club. the thing. No, it's this like is what's gonna happen. No, club, no, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna be reading a book, Harry Potter, and then all of a sudden you're gonna, especially you, you're gonna get to a paragraph and I'll be like, oh, Kevin said something. You'll be like, blah blah blah, and you'll be like, yeah, Voldemort just killed so and so. It's like, what? You, you fuck what? her. You should add me as a friend then. That's exactly you what I'm saying. Add me as friends, that's the way I roll. Opens the door to poop. I'm still trying to figure out, and, and I'm Dude, excited to on. see what happens January 20 whatevers, because I want them to show me why I want this product. Because I already want this product, and I'm not quite sure why. I got one more feature that I just allowed that I think <laughs> okay. would be really cool. All right, okay. Imagine you're sitting there reading a book, and you're following Let taste me, makers. Are there any other features besides no, reading on, a book? On, because on. I don't hold think on. it's going to be doing on, that for on. people. Hold on, you're following okay. tastemakers. Who's someone that you really respect in the real world that you don't know, that you haven't met? Uh, Dean Kamen? Dean Kamen, yeah, he's okay. cool, yeah, yeah. So you're following Dean Kamen, and all of a sudden you get to a paragraph and you're like, shit, Dean Kamen left an annotation on this that I wanna hear. It's a book that you didn't even know he has read, and then you listen to it and you're like, shit, I just got a little bit of text from Dean Kamen, and this is a book that he I didn't even know he liked, but since I'm following him, I it wraps think around that. That that could be cool. As long Thank as he you. doesn't say Voldemort killed so and so. <laughs> right. I'm like, like, damn, damn you, Dean Kamen. <laughs> I'm never riding my Segway again. Oh wait, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I only own. Alright. I'm just zero. saying I, know, I see a bye world. Bye. I just think I want to see. Well, we're what, all connected. I want to see what it can do without it being about reading a book. That's right. that's I, what's that? You know? They can do other things. I'm excited for the book. I'm, I, dude, whatever. All yeah. right, next story. This will kind of make you a little sadder. Internet speeds and costs from around the world. 2,509 people dug the story submitted by CQ Livingston. Well, people, if you ever needed a reminder of how crappy our internet is and how much we wish we lived in Japan, here it is. Average broadband speed in... Mega bytes per second. Bytes is the big B, right? Uh, correct. Bits is a little B. Mega bytes <coughs> a second. That's megabits per second, by the way. Well, oh, it's all caps here, and it's not caps there. That's weird. Anyway, let's say megabits per second. 61 megabits a second is the average speed of download in Japan. I'm Are that right now. you kidding? What? Hold on. There's no way are you near test. 61 test. megabits a second. Here we go. Don't nobody download anything right now. I'm going to do a little test. Wait, wait, trumpet torn. Don't. Oh, I got a trumpet torn. Nobody's bit torn. What are you doing? I, I, I am actually. You were actually bit torn? <laughs> oh, that's, interesting. That's some good shit, isn't it? All right. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. I love that. Here goes my little dial. Boo! 
Come on. You're at four. What? You're at Somebody's four. Somebody's victorying. Don't leave 15. my shit. Fifteen. You got to fifteen. Fifteen is probably what, what you are. Yes. How am I? We're not, not in Japan. I'm for thirty. Well, guess what? You're not in Japan. This is some bullshit speed test. No, it's not. Go to. Uh, I'm four. I'm four point three up. That ain't that's bad. That's pretty. That's actually really good. Jesus. Go to broadbandreports.com. Yeah, broadband. No, no, no. Go Which to one? just go to broadbandreports.com. You sure this isn't the one? I'm positive this is the one not too. the one. I think that last one was kind of jank. I want to try. Oh it. no, that's here the one we go. That they here use. we go. Okay, here we go. Come on. I'm telling you right now. There we go. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's 15 megabits no, hold a second. On. 16, 17, 18, 19, 18. Right here, don't look at my what I'm bit torning. 20. There we go. 21 megs down. That's what I'm talking about. 21 megabits. Down. Kilobits per second. 21 megabits a second. KBPS. Yeah, but that's, that's 21,000. 21 yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. <clears throat> okay, I'm Good at. Stuff. I'm at four megs up. Yeah. Four meg is four megs up is solid is really great up, but 20, 21 is great. Not bad. The average in Japan is sixty one. What are they saying the average in the United States is? Four. See that's bull. Point we're eight. higher than four now. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. You get higher than four at your house. Oh, well, I get higher than four, but that's because I pay for it. But the, the average starter package is like one point five, right? Yeah, but what they're doing here, they're showing small countries. Like Japan's tiny, man. You could freaking lay fiber all over that country and. The reason we're four is because if you go check in freaking Provo, Utah, it's like That's one true. and a half Canada, minutes. Canada is like something low. Super tight. It's like 10. Some it's shit. Sad. That. Wait, here they are. Canada is 7.6. I'm still not. It's better than we're doing. They got more land. 4.8, Jesus. But 4.8, come on, people. And yeah. here's the thing. Like, I have AT&T U-verse, which I love, and I know they have the capability to bump it up. And here's the, here's the thing. I would pay... I would pay an extra 50 bucks a month to get crazy ass hooker speed. You know what I mean? I don't think you would. I would, dude, because I'd be downloading shit like that's going out of stack. What do you, what do you need? What Whatever. Do you, there are times what? when I download, you're bit to something that's probably 600 megabytes. It's 2.37 gigabytes. Right. Actually. How great would it be if that 2.6 gigabytes took well, 10 minutes? Well, first of all, I only have three seeds on this particular one, so that's a problem. Yeah, but let's not talk about how great BitTorrent is, because BitTorrent sucks ballsack, dude, in my it's opinion. it's the ports. No, it's not the fucking ports. I'm as open as freaking a $4 whore. <laughs> dude, I'm going to come to your house, and I'm going to check your ports. Dude, come to my house check my ports you'll see I, I know what, what you're you're not properly mapping your ports to your phone. don't even start with my fucking nat my nat is open it's like the it's the windows a bullshit anyway it's not windows bullshit all anyway. right so let's get to our sponsors before our last show thingy shall we you want to go first <coughs> yes i will all right go daddy get reliable <laughs> secure web hosting without the long-term contract <laughs> go daddy hosting plans are bigger and better than ever with 99 percent uptime Free 24-7 support and no annual commitment. Mm. Plus use the code DN7 for .biz domain names for $7.49. And when you get your .biz domain name, go over to my.biz to sign up for their contest to win $25,000 along with a trip for you and a friend to come to Austin to see a live Dignation this coming March. Mm. And as always, find every latest GoDaddy offer at revision3.com slash GoDaddy. Uh, also, speaking of my.biz, uh, my.biz is an awesome has an awesome contest going. As he, as he said, twenty five thousand dollars fly you to Austin, crazy live show uh, in March. Uh, but there's still two more runner up winners that each get high performance laptops. So to enter, go to my.biz. My.biz, get your .biz domain, design a website for your business uh, or startup, and you've been entered to win. Uh, you can also get your .biz domain names, as he said, at GoDaddy for seven forty nine. Use the coupon code DN seven. Uh, find out other special offers for .biz domains at revision three com slash GoDaddy, like he said. Thank you. Uh, now this ends in a few weeks, February twelfth. So get your butt signed up. Awesome. Uh, the last sponsor is Netflix, and we mm. want to say thanks yes. to Netflix for sponsoring yeah. this episode of Deep Nation. Yes, with Netflix, you, Netflix, you can rent over 90,000 titles online, including lots of Blu-ray titles. It's true. With free shipping both ways <clears throat> to your home. They now have over 40 shipping centers, so almost all deliveries happen in just one business day, and the mm. Netflix plans start at just $4.99. As a new member, you can get a no-risk, two-week fry, free file, no-risk, two-week free file, <laughs> fuck. I know it risks. The train went two off the week track. Free trial membership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. too many T's. Check out. Uh, check it's it out. Too much tea. It's Netflix. too many T's. Fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's like, you've had too much tea. And you're like, there are too many teas. <laughs> <clears throat> Remember the WWW code when checking out. Sure, that doesn't even sound right. Uh, so the biggest consumer electronics show, CES, in the world is happening right now in Vegas. Uh, Revision 3 is there in full force. Techzilla, HD Nation, Hack 5, all of them there. Check out all the tons of shooting video stuff, fun time pants, uh, at revision3.com slash CES. All right, last story, Kevin. All right, last story of the day. 40-year-old Gwen Stefani still looks amazing in bikini. 1,558 people dug the story submitted by NJ Underground. <clears throat> pics of the rocker girl vacationing uh, over abroad. So check out pictures of her at 40 years old. God, she's 40 years old she's and she's had a now. kid. Oh, dude, she is full on. She's 40? Yeah, she's 40. Holy crap. First off, it kind of makes me feel old that Gwen Stefani from No Doubt is 40 years old. I know, I know. Right? But she still looks amazing. I mean, come on. Oh, dude. I love the, like, bless you, I love the, like, Wonder Woman bracelet she's got on. She's yeah. like, Shazam! Uh, she's, Gwen Stefani has always been A-plus in my book, dude. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been a big fan. She's just, like, she's got, I love how she's got natural breasts. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> so disgusting. <laughs> what? I, it just sounded so skeevy the way you said that. You know what? I love that she just has natural breasts. She has ample bosom. But it's not too much. Her areolas are very, very fine. She's got the color of her vaginal canal is very clean. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it just sounded so I did horrible. Not say that. No, I'm just saying, like, in a world where everybody has gone uh, fake and plastic. No, I agree with that. I like that she's not fake. It's like, I'm glad that this one girl was able to say, I'm not going to do all that shit to my body, and I'm not going to sell out and get bigger breasts because it'll sell more albums. Yeah. I just want to be myself. And she was always herself and a rocker and cute. Yeah. 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 Everything about her I really like. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. But again, it does. Man, can you believe she's 40 years Can't old, dude? she's 40. We're going to be 40 at some point. Not me. Oh, you're going to die young? <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Me and my pipe are going to Valhalla on 39. <laughs> I'm going to ride this pipe train to town. That's horrible. Uh, amazing. All right, All right, it. well, shall we get to our email? Mm, let's do it. This email is from Andrew. Tacos give me dreams of dignation. So last night I had a dream that Kevin and Alex were arguing over which f font would best describe their personalities. Mm. The dream I felt is a direct result of the tacos that I ate that night before going to sleep. That being said, which font does best describe your personalities? Also, my friend and I are starting a video production company and we need a name. Any help? Dude, dream tacos. Hmm. Right? No. Or taco dreaming? I need something cooler. Taco font? Um, two Taco Tuesdays. We're not good like this on the, on the fly. I know, Taco Tuesdays. Uh, thanks, guys. Huge fan of Dignation. Uh, is even my theme song as a ringtone. Nice. Amazing. Uh, P.S. How can I send you guys some beer? You really need to try Yingling, which I think we have tried we have before. Tried yeah. yeah. It's the best old brewery in America. Yeah, good Yingling stuff. is good stuff. Um, <clears throat> What font? The problem is I don't really know my, m tons of fonts. What font for what? Would best describe our personality. Oh, our personality? Yeah, that was the whole dream. Did you hear the email I just uh, read? No, I didn't, I didn't hear the email. So Let's our- start. Oh, uh, gosh, I don't know. I think we have different fonts for each of us. Well, yeah, I think that's the whole point. I, I, I'm- uh, You're a saint serif kind of guy? No, I'm a Helvetica, if anything. Really? Yeah, for sure. Just sort of middle of the road, everybody sees you. Nothing, dy nothing dynamic about it. <laughs> well, I mean, you're in gas station, subway signs, cups of coffee. I really don't know fonts. Like, I know, no, no, I no, me neither. I, I really love how, like, how universal and versatile it is. Yeah, I like that about it. Uh, I'd be something stone, Comic because it'd be cool. Comic Sans would be nice. Comic Sans is good. Comic Sans is Wingdings. Good. Glenn's wing definitely Wingdings. Wing yeah, Glenn's is Wingdings. Dude, you are Wingdings. No, you're wing Papyrus. Dings. Come on. No, I'm a com Dude, Comic if anything, he's if anything, he's Wingdings. Well, what, what food do you think best describes your personality? Is this a food too? No, but I thought of that while doing the taco oh, thing. Ice cream? No, not me. Cold and sweet. He's ice cream. I am ice cream. I fucking love ice cream. It's the best. I don't know. I'm, but that's the problem. It's not, you know, anyway. Well, anyway, thank you, Andrew. And uh, we're going wingdings and, uh, for, for uh, hippie and comic sans for the both of us. Word. 
word. If you'd like to have your email read on the show, please feel free to send it to fans at Dignation.com. That, my friends, is the end of this episode yep. of Dignation. I'm Alex Albrecht. And I'm Kevin Rose. Happy 2010, and we'll see you next time. Happy 2010. Positive.